Hello, I'm Dr. Andrea Baker, and I'm the principal bassoonist for the Opera and the Ozarks Orchestra. Additionally, I'm also the assistant professor of bassoon at Western Illinois University. Today, I will be giving you some tips and demonstrating this year's Allstate Etudes and Exercises. The first three exercises are all from the daily studies section of the Weiss Form book. And so these are very short exercises, really just based in scales and arpeggios. So for page 67, number six, here we have an arpeggio exercise based around in the key of C. And the range isn't too large here. Um, we do get all the way down to that low C at the end. Um, but really just take care that your fingers are very smooth and even through the slurs. That you're making sure you're getting all those half holes on the G's and that flicking for the A's and C's so nothing cracks. Um, and then in those last two measures, when we get all the way down to the low range of the bassoon, just make sure to really drop, drop that jaw and have a lot of vowel space inside so that that low C will pop right out. Page 69, number five. This is scales and thirds in the key of G minor. So here, um, just make sure to practice this slow so that your fingers are nice and even. I know sometimes even just G to B flat, sometimes that transition can be a little bit clunky. So um, just make sure that all the fingers are moving seamlessly and that there's no finger movement in between the notes. <laughs> chromatic scale from low E up to the top space G sharp and back down. Similar to the last one, just really make sure that those fingers are moving seamlessly uh, from note to note and that you're not getting any extra blips or uncoordinated finger movements with the slurring. March. Um, so you can see it there, Marchia. And right underneath it says Risoluto, so meaning resolute, so very, you know, firm and steadfast. Make sure here to really honor the rhythm. Make sure it doesn't get triplety with all of the dotted 8 16ths. Really subdivide 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, rather than dun, 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 dun. Um, so just to keep that rhythmic integrity throughout. In the contrasting, more piano dolce section here, you know, this is more lyrical, so definitely treat it as such. Uh, maybe even add, you know, a little more vibrato. We also have some slurring in here. But really the biggest thing is to make sure that you uh, keep your dotted eight, dotted eight sixteenth rhythm very sharp and that um, all of the articulations are very clear. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're getting into our selections from the 50 Advanced Studies portion of the Weissenborn book. Excuse me. Our first one is Weissenborn number five, Allegro Furioso. Now, when we look at this example, we have a lot of articulation markings. We have accents, both carrot accents and also the sideways accents as well, and um, many staccatos throughout. So make sure that you're really making a distinction between those, where our carrot accents are gonna be a little bit sharper um, than our, our regular sideways accents, and then notes that are staccato, make sure you're keeping those nice and short, and um, it'll be wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks so much for listening. I hope it was helpful and good luck on your audition.